Hey, good morning, everyone. Just getting up, getting ready to go to work right now. And I was just kind of, I got up early again this morning. I'm trying to do that every morning. Some mornings it's not that easy to do, but get up and work out, right? Um, but I got up at like 4.30. In reality, I set my alarm for six o'clock. And then I got up at uh, 4.30. I just kind of woke up on my own because I'm just thinking about different stresses and stuff like that you got going on in life. And I kind of woke up on my own and I was just sitting there for a minute. And then I just like, you know what, Nathan, you were, you should, you should just get up and go work out. So that's what I did. I got up and I went to um, the little gym right around the corner. I'll turn on this music for a minute. Um, Went to a little gym right here at my little apartment complex that I'm in. And they have a treadmill there, so I get on it and go run and stuff like that. And actually today, I ran better than I did the other day. Like the other day, let's see if I can see, my window's all fogged up. The other day I ran and I couldn't even finish the full mile because I have, I have a herniated disc, which causes like sometimes when it flares up real bad it'll come cause numbness down both legs um so and it started flaring up really bad in the middle of my run it was hard for me to finish up my run and then plus i was also just feeling kind of like gassed already and i don't know if that's maybe because my back was hurting and um maybe i was running awkward or whatever but yeah so I stopped, that was my last run I did. And today I did repeat it the same run because I like to get on the treadmill. This is my way of working out in the mornings, right? And um, I'm only talking to you guys this morning because I wanna know you guys' thoughts and stuff and how you guys get motivated. And I'm kind of just sharing my way of how I get motivated in the mornings um, to help me try to lose weight um, and try to stay in shape. And it really starts with just I feel like honestly the best way to do it is it starts with your morning right because you can get up you can get motivated and once you get done with the workout you feel less stressed than you would just normally going into work on a day like today or whatever where it's basically the first day of work right now it's freaking monday um and you don't really have a drive to go to work well getting up working out uh it kind of relieves a little bit of that stress and you can kind of go through the rest of your day then do your um do your job go home and relax right and maybe spend that time with your family instead of coming home and then you know gym or whatever so i don't know that's how i like to do it um another way that i kind of go about when i do my workouts is um on especially on days that i am working out i try to when i say i try to fast i i mean that like obviously I'm not, I'm breaking my fast in the morning because after my workout, I drink a protein shake and uh, I may take a multivitamin and fish oil. I actually forgot it this morning, so I'll just take it when I get, when I get home today. Um, but yeah, just those are really about the only thing, just a protein shake, multivitamin, fish oil. And technically that kind of breaks my fast in a sense because well, um, I put some kind of calories in my body. Um, so, but you could still, in my mind, I'm like, you can, you can try this, right? For the people that are trying to lose weight and for just, uh, just something that helps me. And this is something that I learned and I followed for a minute when I started learning about intermittent fasting, right? Um, and I kind of implemented my own way of doing some type of fast, right? So the only thing I have first thing in the morning is like multivitamin, fish oil, protein shake, right? Um and then pretty much just water all day. And the only time I eat is when I get home from work. So I get home at, you know, whatever time, and it'll be like four, five, six, whatever time you might get home. Try to make that the only time you eat. And this is like, because I'm terrible with when it comes to uh, counting calories, trying to eat the right foods, Try this has been the best way for me to lose weight and still get in shape 
with eating pretty much whatever I want, right? Um, it's kind of helped me. I'm not necessarily eating the health healthiest. Sometimes I make good choices, and then other times I get lazy and I just, you know, want a cheeseburger or something dumb like that, right? Um, plus, it's very as a as a man. When I found that it's very more like very difficult is when. And sorry if the the video is kind of like dark right now because it is first thing in the morning. Um, so the sun should be coming up more, and it should brighten up as the video goes along. But yeah, the first the first like what's worked for me is like uh that just intermittent fasting eating one time per day nothing else no snacks no no whatever it's just during that period that i do eat i can kind of eat whatever i want to eat right for the most part that's how i think about it maybe it's not the right way to think about it but that's what works for me because it's been very hard for me to try to stay in a routine where um i just you know, I fast every day, and then I like on the weekends. It's hard. I got a family. I got kids. I got a I got a wife and stuff, and they want dinner, and they want, and I do most of the cooking in the house. So, <laughs> um, they want certain foods along the way. So, sometimes we'll be traveling, going somewhere, and um, they want you know to stop at you know McDonald's or you know they want Wendy's or they want. Chick-fil-A or maybe they want Subway or something. Subway's maybe a little more healthier choice, but kind of sometimes you just kind of cater towards what you're for me for what my wife and kids kind of want. And that's kind of what I eat at that time because I'm already there in the interest of time, saving time. I'm not gonna go and be like, uh I'd sometimes I'll just eat whatever they're eating. Um so if I eat one time a day. Uh, intermittent fast and you can do that and it's very hard in the beginning to start doing that especially whenever you break like you're normally eating around lunchtime or you eat a small breakfast yeah you have this hormone in your body i think it's called grottum grottum i don't know if i'm saying it right but it's like your hunger hormone and it it flares up during certain times that you normally eat well if you stop eating during those certain times uh it doesn't flare up as much and you can kind of just eat whatever right um eat whatever whenever uh it's time to normally eat which would be like dinner time for me right that's when i choose to eat my one meal a day so um, i'm just saying all this because i don't know if there's people out there and they've been trying to go on a diet and they try to go on these different things try this it's just something different it's it's a way you can intermittent fast. Let's say you don't eat a protein shake at all in the morning. You just get up and you do a workout and drink water. That's probably even better, I'll be honest with you. Because now you're not breaking your fat. I mean, you might slightly break your fast by drinking some water. I think that technically, no, I, don't, I don't know that fully breaks your fast, but it helps, it helps spin up your uh, metabolism in the morning. So you're starting to burn a little more calories. Uh, you'll probably notice that you get hungry that kind of stuff a little more in the morning but if you just get up in the morning you do your workout and then when you're done with your workout for the day um, you go to work and then you come home and you eat that one time a day you don't have to feel bad about whatever you eat because usually that's kind of it's losing weight it's literally calories in calories out right if you're working out in the morning you're losing calories um, but you don't know how much you're losing because you're not carrying a Fitbit or whatever else. This kind of just helps me out. So try this out for the people that don't understand, like, how to get in shape or how to stay in shape. Try the intermittent fasting. If you are if you have some weight on you and you want to lose that weight and try to get in shape, try intermittent fasting in whatever way that you tailor it to yourself, right? There's no, I don't think there's any correct way because I think everybody's body is different, right? There's some people that just naturally can stay skinny. There's some people that can easily get big, right? So try it like that. Um, you know, tailor it to however you want, but just try one meal a day. Whenever you do eat, eat whatever you kind of want to eat. Try it like that for a little while. And if you, if you get better at it and you decide like, hey, I want to eat more healthy, um, I want to, I want to, you know, I'm starting to like this. This is kind of a cool little routine. For me, I break my routine all the time because I have a wife and kids, all right? And it's hard to stay in a routine when, um, 
I'm doing stuff with them all the time, going to school events or whatever else, right? Uh, going on little vacations, birthday parties, that kind of stuff. It would, if it was just me and I was by myself, yo, and this goes for a lot of the guys out there, they can probably do this a little easier. Um, if it was just me, I could just, I probably could get an easy routine. I could afford to go to Subway every day if I wanted to and just be like, yo, I'm going to eat a six inch sub right now. And, um, you know, maybe for dinner, maybe I'll get something small like a chicken salad or something like that. I don't know. Um, I could afford to do that, but I can't do that now because I don't make the money that I used to make for one. And two, it's just, it's just really expensive to, to kind of live like that when you have kids and a wife that will probably be eating Subway with you and all that. It's too expensive. So I could probably meal prep at the house, but I just don't like it. I find it kind of boring and it's very hard to do. And then another thing that did help me a little bit with intermittent fasting is like, you can go to Walmart and get those, or Publix, Winn-Dixie, wherever, but they're like these little meal prep things. I can't remember the name of them. I think it starts with the M. It's like Mich Michelle or Michelin, whatever. They're like these little green little, um, they're like, uh, what is it, chicken alfredo, there's a different one, broccoli, chicken, and uh, rice or something like that. Um, there's a couple, they're really small, they tell you the calories on the back, you can kind of help count your calories with that, but they're not always um, <laughs> fun to eat and stuff. You can do it for, I can do it for a little bit, but after a little while, I'm like, man, I gotta have something else to eat. Give me a cheeseburger or something. But that's how I do my intermittent fasting. You guys should try that, it works for me. Um, that's how I'm able to lose my weight and get in shape and then do the things that I kind of want to do ultimately. So um, that's what I'm trying to focus on more, in, um, more today. I did my little run on the treadmill. And the reason why I like running on a treadmill more than I do um, on the road or whatever else is because the treadmill, I can kind of... I can put it at 1% incline and then just pick the two miles that I wanna go run, right? And I can slowly increase it every time I go to run. So if I'm running at, you know, uh, seven, right? Next time I run, I can run at point or uh, 7.1, right? And just stay at that two miles, right? And slowly just train and then slowly go to 7.2 the next couple times I run, right? and slowly go to 7.3 and then slowly work my way up to I can get faster and faster, right? Um, that's how it, on the days that I'm being lazy and I'm not really running as hard, that treadmill will keep me true. They'll keep, it'll keep me at a pace that I probably should be trying to train at. And that's kind of why I enjoy the treadmill more than running outside. Um, because and we're all human. Sometimes you're just, oh crap, I'm not running as fast or I'm being a little more lazy or I'm like, you know, maybe I don't have the energy today to run as hard as I think I'm running and the treadmill is making me run harder. So some days I can run on a treadmill and I'm like, man, this run sucks. And other days I run and it's easier. Today was a lot easier than it was the other day. So, but I just wanted to kind of like share this out there with you guys for people that are learning to get into fitness and train and all the other stuff and um, get better. And I'm just using my morning for some time just to share something with some people out there that might they might take this knowledge and then kind of do what they will with it you can work out on your own every single morning i'm trying to do that so i think everybody probably should try to do that i think it does help with my stress and my anxiety is working out i think it's one of the best things that help me clear my mind it makes me feel better in the morning i can kind of get out of those moody grumpy moods that maybe i feel like uh I don't want to work for anybody. I just want to work for myself. I'm trying to get to that point in my life that I'm starting to realize that there's things that I don't uh, enjoy as much anymore. So, and one of them is working for somebody else. So I'm trying to get to where I can pay down my debts, get to a point where I can hoard away some money, and then uh, do the things that I enjoy, that I know that can make me money, that I can slowly build up trying to turn my life into 
my job, if that makes sense. Um, I don't want to be working for somebody else. I want to be working for myself. So how can I do that? I can make the money that I earn work for me and not for somebody else. And that's through a couple different avenues. And you can figure those out on however you want to do it. For me, one of them is dividend investing. And I want to get back to that. But first, before I can even do that, I need to go ahead and start crushing all my debts. Get rid of all my debts and then I can start dividend investing again. I don't want to do it now because I think it's more important that I focus all my energy, all my extra time on crushing my debts. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to explain that to you guys this morning. Just something quick. If you guys get a minute in the mornings, do a workout. Focus on that. Try the intermittent fasting. It works for me. Um, I want to be able to do the things that I enjoy every day. One of them, honestly, is actually working out. Even though as much as it sucks during the time that I'm running and I'm dying and I feel like I don't, I just want to quit. I just have that little bit of motivation and energy to keep like, no, you're trying to get to the next level. And I almost treat it, it's very weird, but I almost treat my workouts like a video game. Like I'm trying to, um, like I'm trying to level up in the video game. Well, I'm trying to also level up in real life, right? I'm trying to get to that faster speed that, you know, that, more of a push-up, right? Um, the better forms I get, you know, overall I'm trying to, I treat it like that. So, I just treat it like the only difference in this video game is that you can you can technically lose your experience that you gained. So, <laughs> if you just slack on working out for a while. So, just don't slack on working out. Keep up with it. And I think you guys are good, should be good. So, try the intermittent fasting one meal a day. Alright? I appreciate you guys' time. Uh, please like and subscribe to the video. Um, every like and subscribe really does help my channel. I'm trying to grow up more. I'm trying to be able to do the things I want to do and just share them with you guys <clears throat> so you guys can understand um, how a, a way to maybe build your life. And um, I don't think, I think you, can, you should be able to choose what you want to do in a day, right? So start that, start that little bit of choosing right now, right? that goes with uh try the intermittent fasting so, all right i appreciate you guys uh, and i'll see you next time